Pisces, this is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. It is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Always check out your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign because it's all you. Um, if you haven't yet, please remember to subscribe to the channel and then ring that bell and select all notifications so you know when I upload your favorite content. I upload Pisces content every single Wednesday. It comes out if you're looking for an even deeper, more personal reading, I always include an extended to every single one of these messages so I can continue the message. Um, the difference between the two, this, this reading gives you insights. The extended reading gives you answers. So it's an important reading and it's always below. I hope you can join me. If you're looking for more astrology and spiritual content, um, I have a second channel. It's called Astrology Motivation. I'll attach the link above so that you can reach it and hopefully you'll um, like that content too and be able to enjoy that over there as well. And then last but not least, if you want to join me for live chats, come on over to Instagram. Find me on Instagram. You can either look in the description box below and follow the link to my one and only Instagram profile um, through the link below, or you can go to the header of this channel on the banner. You'll see a bunch of little icons. Just click on the, um, the Instagram icon and you'll go directly to my one and only profile. I'm saying this repeatedly because there's been so many scams and so much fraud over there that I think a lot of people are finding the, the, the fraudulent Instagram profiles instead of mine because they're going over there and they're searching for born without boundaries and they're finding all these frauds. And um, so now I'm just asking you guys, if you wanna find me over there, be sure that you always look at the link below in the description box or one of the links that I've provided to you so you know you're getting to the right, to the right uh, profile. Anyway, whew, sorry, it's been, it's, been, it's been tough with that stuff. But this is Pisces, Pisces, this is your energy. What does Pisces need to know? Not what does Pisces want to know? What does Pisces need to know? There's some sort of news coming in or something that you have to get off your chest and say. So this is thought taking action. Take action on your thoughts. Or yeah, take action on your thoughts. A lot of times that first comes out in words or writing something down. Um, just go after something. Stay it. Say it. Make a statement. This could also be communication or word coming into you. But we'll get deeper into that. Um, this is the Queen of Swords. You're getting a lot of swords um why you're getting a lot of swords there could be a lot on your mind this could also be a very like cranial time there could be a lot of like um just sort of uh, ob objective like you need to be objective or the suggestion of the cards is to remain objective here uh queen of swords you could also be discussing a lot and saying a lot and talking a lot or being getting a lot of information or even a lot of education um learning a lot the queen of swords is usually a woman she could be a counselor she could be a guide she could be basically your mentality what she is the mentality of is objectivity which provides clarity Clarity. So clarifying, you could be clarifying yourself to somebody or making a statement or somebody's clarifying themselves to you. Maybe you're finally, Pisces, getting answers that you not only need but want. Um, right. Or say, maybe getting something off your chest too. And then we have the five. Oh, so you're overcoming some obstacles here. Um, overcoming some stress. This is the five of wands, which is you're overcoming some competition. Maybe you're putting people in their place. You're saying what you need to say to them. You're standing up for yourself. You're speaking out for yourself. Um, or people are finally hearing or listening or making some sort of statements. We have the four of wands. So you have something to celebrate about. Um, this is um, like really knowing where you stand, stabilizing your passions, right? Um, and then we have the Hierophant here, which is also kind of like, it's almost like you're staking a claim to make money or you're, uh, maybe you're announcing that you are somewhere or you're doing something or you're promoting yourself or you're marketing yourself. Um, this is definitely going to lead to financial health, maybe wealth. Um, this is really going to lead to, um, kind of being solid. Uh, um, this is Taurus energy coming out. This could also be a wedding, to be honest with you, um, because we have the four of wands the Hierophant next to each other. They're both cards that can indicate marriage of some sort. So this could be that you're getting word or getting news that somebody wants you or has made the decision decided on you or vice versa, like you've decided on somebody. Yeah, I do read the cards very rapidly. It's, it is my style. So, um, 
sometimes it gets to people. So I just I've got to follow. I've got to follow the the channeling and spirit and how it comes out. And for me, it just kind of like free flows. Um, we have underlying energy of something being held back, something being hidden, and it's you. So Pisces, this underlying energy is who you are deep down inside. And then we have this, the lacking confidence or feeling like you've been creatively smashed or repressed um, or feeling like somebody who is not very creative um, has, has gotten out there in front of you, ahead of you. But ultimately, I feel like what you're doing right now is somehow... In, 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 in siding with the establishment, it's almost like it's like not allowing you to grow or siding with the establishment, like um, permanently planting yourself somewhere or uh, making a commitment to continue to be somewhere is 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 disallowing your growth or your creative freedom. This will start to get stifling after a while. And I think that that's sort of what you can feel intuitively. It's going to start to get stifling after a while. Um, so there is a level of dissatisfaction here. Um, this could also be some sort of bad press. Um, people saying derogatory things about you, uh, being very critical. Um, and then we have the strength card. So really kind of overcoming your fears. Okay, this could actually be fear of commitment as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could. Um, we have the three of cups. So this is a third party situation. Somebody here could be um, af afraid of commitment and really be struggling to sort of choose maybe between two different people or um, select what it is that they really love. Two different opportunities, maybe two different lifestyles. Um, three of three of chalices is um, being around a lot of people, um, taking pleasure, more parties. Um, yeah, this this is I don't know. There's something here about parties, but it's almost like in some ways it could be like the wedding singer instead of actually going and being the rock star. Almost like trying to rectify or that kind of reality, kind of like maybe I haven't come as far as I wanted to being heard, but it, like almost being too. I don't know. I don't see lack. Well, I do see lack of satisfaction here, and I see it being withheld. This, this card, I don't like this card for you, the Queen of Wands in reverse. I don't like that energy for you because she's somebody who's extremely stifled. She's somebody who doesn't, doesn't like was very creative and doesn't create anymore. And um, that's the kind of energy that I don't want to see happen to you. Um, yeah, I'm trying to like figure out any more. Hold on, like Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? What does Pisces need to know? Um, and this is the, okay, so the, uh, the Queen of Wands and the King of Swords is in reverse. So this is somebody who's extremely critical, hypercritical, um, very unhappy, very miserable, somebody who is always using their mouth in a bad way. And I think that that's coming out um, in kind of a way of, because, because it starts, in other words, it starts with, that's my dog, she's going crazy. Um, it starts with dissatisfaction and then it becomes actual bitterness. Um, and then we have the seven of pentacles. Yeah. Something is stalled or something is, is flatlined. Um, this feeling of being flatlined. I can also tell you that Neptune is going direct soon. So ultimately, things for you might become a lot clearer. Um, they might become just a lot more um, sort of honest with yourself. And that might change a lot of how you're feeling about what you're currently doing. Um, it could also put you in tune with how you see the future going. Um, the Seven of Pentacles... Um, um, there could also be like dealing with people who are not creative, dealing with people who are very critical, dealing with people like maybe that are, that are like over you somehow, bosses or executives of some sort, not wanting you or not understanding you, um, or feeling stifled in general, feeling like nothing is going somewhere. But is that the truth or is that just a feeling that Pisces is getting? Yeah, because so, something is not growing or something is not going anywhere. And there's words being exchanged. Queen of Pentacles is here. So, yeah, she's somebody who's intent on just making money. She's very pragmatic. She's very responsible. She's very good with finances. But she also gives herself away. Um, yeah, 
and this is this is intuitively intuitively um this is getting in touch with your intuition the high priestess so taking a non-traditional route um not non-traditional though um, not non-traditional, 10 of pentacles is here in the past. So there was abundance and happiness and stability maybe in the home or like having finances, but something seems to have stagnated, um, um, or something is, you're finding it tough to get the money or finances together. You keep hearing bad news. You keep getting discouraged. Maybe you keep getting shut down about, about something. Okay. So what does Pisces do about it? What is Pisces supposed to do about it? Um, Mother Earth. So she's in reverse. Feel loved and comforted. You don't feel loved and comforted. You don't even feel like you're at home. This could also be a sense of having issues with your actual mother. Um, or having to take care of your mother for some reason. Um, and then uh, Warrior. Be fearless and stand strong. Um, and then medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. So we have mother earth is in reverse feeling. You don't feel comfortable. You don't feel love. Maybe you feel sick. You don't feel really good about something and you need healing right now. Medicine mother, honor your inner knowing. So that's, what's going to provide you with the medicine to honor what it is that you know to be true and, and not repress it or suppress it for continuity or consistency or reliability uh warrior be fearless and stand strong also speaks to the strength card so something in you knows that something is rotten in the state of denmark right something isn't isn't not just going as planned it's almost like it's not going as it seems. It's being made to look better than it is. Or maybe you're dressing something up and you because you didn't want to address something. But ultimately, Pisces, it's got to be addressed. Um, it's got to be addressed based on your truth. Um, this could be fighting with somebody, arguing with somebody, arguing with, arguing with somebody to take care of themselves, to start taking their health more seriously, to start being more concerned with themselves. Um, flexibility is here. Um, so, well, I don't know what the fuck that means. Um, what, maybe you're being too malleable. What is flexibility here for? Why do we even care about it? Imagine. I feel like you've been escaping into, um, fantasy a lot lately. And it's because maybe you have, you've been bent, you, you've bent too much. You know, you've been too malleable. Um, um. Yeah, you've been too malleable. Um, imagine, there's this Queen of Pentacles. She's the only one upright here. Imagine. It's almost like, but it's like you're dreaming of somebody. You're dreaming of their what they are. TikTok. Things have been going on for a while. And they're starting to really irritate you and bother you. And I feel like you're, you're running out of patience for something. Um, um, you want this to work out. Um, but whether or not it will, there's something, there's something like hypercritical here. Stop. I need to understand exactly what this energy is telling me. What the fuck is this? What, what is it? What is Pisces supposed to do here? Who is this queen of pentacles? She's upright. She's upright. She has sincere intentions. But this king of sun, the sun card, hold on. This king of swords does not, this queen of swords does not. His passions and these thoughts are really getting to you. Um, the sun card is here. So what was this? What was this for? It's time to get happy. It's time to follow your heart. It's time to come out in the open and make, like like love with your whole self. Um, actually everything that you are. Um, this is Leo energy. You know, this is having confidence in what you feel instead of suppressing it. And then we have the Queen of Wands upright. If you're dealing with a Leo, especially a female Leo, this is a sense of somebody needs to, it's like somebody needs to see and hear and feel how much you care about them or how much you're into what you're doing. There's a sense of, of, of not settling anymore, like, like demonstrating and showing and, and stepping out into the spotlight. Really, it's time to step out into the spotlight. For who though? For, for Pisces or somebody that they're dealing with? <sighs> I 
I don't know. Um, let's see if we can get any answers from this. Clarification, please. Clarification. Clarification. For Pisces, please. Clarification for Pisces. Clarification for Pisces. Um, so this is victory and success, announcing something, being very proud of something. Um, maybe even um, announcing the purchase of a home or um, authority is here, though. We have an authority figure and then we have memories of love all coming up. Um, this person is very uh, uh, adamant. They're very stubborn. Um, but I can tell you right now, somebody is feeling um, undesirable and undesired and and not seen. If that leaves you any insight, that's what's happening. And it's almost like the more they feel unseen, the more stubborn they get. Um, victory and success will come when you just, uh, memories of love, um, like, like, like demonstrating, showing, or, or, um, this authority figure, um, they're just very, um, adamant and um uh, insistent um i don't know victory and success <sighs> sorry i don't understand these can you clarify these cards this was supposed to be a clarify this energy what's the victory and success the victory and success the lovers here you have a gemini lovers you have gemini and aquarius and knave of chalices this is two people communicating with each other two people talking to each other gemini and aquarius talking to each other love coming between two people maybe that you know you could be actually helping people come together or get together um, this could also be um, a, a relationship that you're in showing somebody somebody let's me put this plain and simple Pisces somebody needs to feel and see your love for them and their affection and your affection for them um, it's like somebody needs to see it outwardly um, this could be like writing writing a love note writing a love letter um, showing demonstrating an offer of love this is all your dreams and all your wishes coming true this is really what they want this could be an offer of love this could be a proposal this could be a sense of somebody needs to understand and actually tangibly see something written in stone somebody needs something written in stone and I said that that, like it could be a wedding it could be somebody needs a commitment and it's either you or it's them but there's a sense of feeling like something has stagnated and that stagnation causing a lot of tension and a lot of trouble somebody needs a commitment because it's just how they are okay okay yeah, we're going to get into specifics, don't worry, because this is definitely about something that somebody dreams of, the kind of love somebody dreams of, and you want the kind of love, or you want something that you dream of, you, you know, you want, you want to feel that way, and in some ways, you know, yeah, you want to feel that way, everybody wants to feel that way, um, we have meditate and contemplate new moon in Pisces, so cleansing out, clearing out your emotions um, through meditation, and then emotions are running high. There's just so much here. There's so many. And then Capricorn, your hard work is paying off. I feel like some maybe, uh, I, don't, I don't know what, what it is. Somebody just needs to feel loved. Your hard work is paying off, Pisces. Emotions are running high. Um, maybe convincing somebody to care about you 
that's weird noises coming from my neighbors. Convincing somebody to care about you or, um, I don't know. I really, I really don't know. I'm going to have to go to the extended disc with this one, but, but what, can you just, what is this? How, how is your hard work paying off if they're frustrated? Or maybe you're frustrated because you didn't see anything happening. So what's the, what's the solution here? Stand your ground, like, like stand your ground. Don't give up on something. Don't give up on something. The frustration is temporary. It's almost like see, see it through. It's like, you're so close Pisces. You're so close. See it through. I'm going to go to the extended. I hope you guys can join me. The link is below. Thank you for watching this video. And please remember to like it and share it on your social media um, platforms. Weird noises. I'm so sorry. And I will see you guys in the extended. Bye.